The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, and alongside me this week, I've got uh, one excellent stand-up comedian. He is the funniest person in Wichita, Kansas of 2021, Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Yeah, that, that title's coming to an end. It is coming to an end. <laughs> coming to an end. But we got to use it until it runs out. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. And also uh, another very, very funny, f- uh, funny person. He is the funniest member in my family, none other than Fred. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Fred, can you host a podcast? <laughs> you want me to? I think that would be fantastic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> take it away. It doesn't take much to be better than Scotty, does it? No, no. that's <laughs> not no. much at all. Not really. No. Uh, but yes, yeah, so unfortunately, we do not have Jeremy this week. Uh, he he talked about it on a previous episode. Unfortunately, he did have to he had to put a dog down, and so he's not not in the best move. So uh, our we thoughts were on, we were hoping it was you. Yeah, no, it, no, it next wasn't. Week. Yeah, um, we're gonna put Scotty down next week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, hearts uh, go out to him. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but now we got fun to deal with on this episode, gentlemen. We do. We've got a lot of stuff. We've got football to talk about and a lot of other shit. But uh, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this episode or this podcast. It'll be the first time they've listened to this episode. <laughs> yeah, it's the sure. very first time. They're brand new. A lot of virgins oh, here. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, if this is the very first time you listen listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. It is also an adult podcast, so if you don't like foul language or loud noises, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. We like to tell knock-knock jokes, too. Yeah. Knock-knock, Scotty. Who's there? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got to finish Go it. Go fuck yourself who? Go fuck yourself, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Did you enough. get it? Yeah, I got All it. Right. That was good. Yeah, here, here we go. I'm sorry. My, I'm, there you I'm go. I'm flying low. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, we do have a lot of stuff to get to. But before we get to all the fun stuff, um, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last uh, week. Fred actually gets to do an, a legitimate week. My week first week. time. Yeah. Week recap. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how was uh, yeah week, week recap? Uh, Fred, how was your last week, man? I was good. Man. It was busy. Um, since last week, uh, had my daughter over the weekend. Yep. So we didn't do too much. We hung out with family, including... Scotty and his wife. Yep. Congratulations. I know. Yeah. You had a daughter. Yeah, she's 14. God, that must have hurt like a <laughs> motherfucker coming I didn't out. Have to go, I didn't have to go through it, so. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. Doesn't affect me. That's yeah. big. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, other than that, uh, back to flying lessons. Uh, actually flew this morning. Yeah. So logged. I think I just hit my 10th hour and probably a dozen landings. So Jesus. So you got to land? I'm not doing it fully by myself, but yeah, I've been landing <sighs> with help. Fuck. For, that's that's when it all goes wrong. Yeah, that's the hardest part. <laughs> I'm I mean, sure. Everything else is really easy. I've learned. <laughs> yeah, you just push a button and it's auto. Exactly, that's that it. shit just goes. Uh-huh. But landing, they don't have auto land. <laughs> Damn, that's something they need to come yeah. up with. Yeah, they do. Why not? They do. It's a good idea. Birds have that. They should exactly. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. do. Just shit together. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, oh yeah, we uh, you tried to get me to do something over the weekend, and I really yeah, didn't want to do didn't. it. He didn't. He he. I guess had a rough day. But, I did. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. With my daughter, we decided we wanted to do a um, outfit roulette. We wanted to go to Goodwill or TJ Maxx, and the person goes to the section of their fitted size clothes, close their eyes, and walk up and down. And someone says, "Stop! Whatever you land on, that's what you're wearing tonight." And we're gonna go out to dinner, ah. or whatever. And uh, three and a half of us of the five were real into it. And we just weren't getting good draws, so we decided to wait till Scotty's in a better mood. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. See, I could do that, but we would have to stop in the curtain section. <laughs> and that's, what I would, that's what I yeah. would have to wear. And you get those drapes. Yep. 
Uh, they got robes. I, I'm pretty sure the bath bathroom See, aisle or something like that. We could have went to the robe section. We could. We could. That'd have been actually kind of fun. Like walk into a place and look like a m- bunch of monks or some shit. Like we're gonna do some karate stuff. I don't think monks wear bathrobes. They don't. They? No. Oh, you don't know <laughs> yeah, their life. Gotta, yeah. Oh, I know. I'm all about that life. <laughs> the monk. <laughs> yeah, I used to be in the Brotherhood. <laughs> okay. And I was like, I am tired of being bald. Oh, <laughs> so it Uber is cold. It. Yep, that's right. Yeah. So I moved from Tibet and came here. Yeah. Uh, st- we went to Steerman. Yes, we did. Ste- yep. Stearman yep. is an awesome place, uh, just outside of Wichita, and uh, it's it's like its own like small airport. So like uh, like oh in- yeah, I love hanging out at airports. That's this one's kind of cool. This one's pretty damn cool. Yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you're like that's oh, a fucking awesome place. It's like an airport. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's all. Do I get to go through security too? <laughs> yeah, they do wait. I get to wait an hour and a half before I go in? <laughs> yeah, they wand you down and everything. Yeah. Oh, awesome! Full cavity yeah. search. That's right. Uh, but anyways, uh, anything else we did, Fred? Uh, I think that's all I did. Okay. I'm, I'm packed up. I leave uh, for Disney tomorrow morning, which probably when this is airing. So yeah, that's I'm right. out of here. There you go. Right. Disney Oklahoma, Disney World, or uh, Disneyland? Disney World this time. There oh, you go. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're smart. You didn't do what I did. I went in July. I did too. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yes. Never again. Yeah, and I'm two of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I lost two of me. <laughs> yeah, trip. absolutely. Jesus. Talk about chafing. I went down a shirt size. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Uh, but no, for me over the last week, I did. I got to hang out with Fred quite uh, quite a lot. I'm sorry, Fred. Nah, and, and I yeah. had a lot of fun with uh, with my niece and stuff like that. It was good to hang out with family and go. My condolences to your niece. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, but no, I had I had an excellent week. Uh, I uh, I ended up watching. There's a document, uh, or it's kind of a documentary. Yeah, I guess it is a documentary on um, Netflix about Manti Teo when that whole situation happened. Remember that him and his fake girlfriend? Mm-hmm. He got catfished like a motherfucker. Supposedly. It, yes. Oh, no. They interviewed everybody involved. I they, watched Oh, it. shit. I, well, I watched one and three quarters of it. I fell asleep during the last Oh, night. my God. I feel so bad for that guy now. Son of a bitch. It's, it was it was good watch, but I feel terrible for that dude. Um, so that was good. Um, I had a very weird thing happen to me at work. Uh, obviously, I, I still have a day job. All of us do. And uh, You ain't getting rich off this shit yet? No. Fuck no. Oh, damn. I thought he was fucking... No. Uh, but no, I get a phone call and it's from a younger person, um, at my place of work. And I answer the phone the way I always do. And I say my name, Scotty, what the fuck do you want? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it turns out, uh, that this person was having an issue with their vehicle, which I had to explain what was going on. I ended up helping out a little bit. And it turns out that person ends up saying, you said your name was Scotty. I said, yes. And they said like Scotty from laughing on the sidelines. And I went, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> so now you know where I fucking work, so keep it between us, okay? You should have said, I have no idea. <laughs> what are you <laughs> I, talking about? I, yeah. I should have, but I didn't. But it was pretty cool. It's because now, you're an attention whore. Fucking big time. I'm an yeah, only child, yeah, sort of. Well, I am, too, but I'm not a whore. <laughs> yes, you are. You're a whore of other sorts. Big time. Whore de bore. Uh, no, that was very, I, I was very humbled by that. Uh, you and media slut. I am <laughs> a media <laughs> slut. Um, but last but not least, on uh, mm. the day that we are recording, it is me and my wife's eight-year anniversary, wedding anniversary. So... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that the yeah. Joke. perfect. Perfect. It's about done. It's it's on the it's on the what yep. are you nose yep. dive. You got two years left on this lease. Yeah, that's right. Fred's mm-hmm. landing the plane, and it's, it's he's still a beginner. It's it's on its way yeah, down. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I love he's my wife very much. Right into a building. <laughs> that's right. Happy 9/11, everybody. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, but no, happy anniversary to my wife. Uh, eight years uh, and uh, many many more. So love you. And that's my week. Go ahead and go, Derek. I didn't really do much. I just had a shitload of baseball to call, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, some of those games were better than others. And uh, Saturday we got our ass ripped a little bit, which I won't go into, but uh, it was it was it was there. Yeah, um, I was supposed to do drugs the week before, <laughs> um, and that one. yeah, I got canceled. <laughs> we were going to visit uh, some family, then he he set aside some mushrooms and i was going to try this again <laughs> and uh because i mean when you when you have a four-headed dog you have to see if you can have a six-headed dog might as well right yeah so um yeah he <clears throat> either got bit by a tick or had COVID or something so he couldn't uh he couldn't do that so we just ended up hanging out in kansas city and uh did that for the weekend 
And then uh, did you go to the Brazilian Steakhouse? No, no, I did not. <laughs> no, that was did. in Oklahoma. They have one again. They, they have one. Yeah. That's what I was asking. It did not give me that one. Did not give me the runs. Damn it! Um, I'm always rooting for that. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime uh, Derek can run to a bathroom, it's hilarious. The funniest thing for me, though, all week I've been just gi- – it's been hard not to giggle because I've got a morbid sense of fucking humor. Yep. And uh, at the baseball games, I had, after the game is over, I have to announce whatever's coming up that rest of that week, right? Mm-hmm. So on a Tuesday when we play, we have five more games. So I have to be like, join us Wednesday for this and Thursday for this and Friday for this and Saturday for this and Sunday for this. So – I was doing that, and except for Saturday, I think they finally figured out it was really fucked up. Is, uh, for instance, I would be like, join us on Thursday when the wind surge become the turbo tubs and join us for Thirsty Thursday presented by Corona. Yeah. On Friday, join us for back to school night and post game fireworks. <laughs> Saturday is fan appreciation night where the first 2,000 fans will receive a replica of the stadium. And join us on Sunday for pre game catch on the field and post game kids run the bases presented by Sonic. Also, come out for our 9-11 tribute. Join the Surge Fund. <laughs> I like, felt like I was really there. I'm I like, know, right? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you might want to put 9-11 first, first and then pregame and postgame. So you just end with 9-11 and you're like, join the fun. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck does that happen? Target practice yeah. with planes. Did not get yeah. that script reviewed. Yeah, no. Join us on Friday where we stand for our loved ones who we've lost to cancer. Join the surge fund. Oh, like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh, that's fucking great. Oh my god, I was just going off nonstop about it, laughing, and then <laughs> finally Saturday, I didn't have it in that order in the script. That I, I think they finally caught on. Oh, yeah, nice, because it was like that other game I had where they're like, uh, it was Lou Gehrig <laughs> Day. Lou Gehrig. Oh, yeah, God. I had Lou Gehrig Day, and it was like, we're going to do baseball trivia. I'm like, cool, what's the baseball trivia question? And they go, what famous athlete had a disease named after him? Oh, and I'm like, are you fucking you kidding me? A well, great it's Luke, question. Right. He's like, it's Lou Gehrig Day. And I'm like, you don't have any other Lou Gehrig <laughs> trivia? Like, there's a few things out there. Like, what? And I dropped three real quick just off the top of my head. And he's like... Well, I think we're just going to go with this. I said, hey, I got a great idea. Tomorrow, let's go with what famous football player killed a guy and hung himself in his jail cell? What famous Marlins pitcher tragically died in a boating accident? Jesus. Oh, fucking Christ. Uh, what heavyweight boxer couldn't box him because he shook so bad? Uh, there All right, go. well, moving yeah, on. There you go. Uh, anyways, so yeah, that was... Uh, that was pretty much my week. But after that game Saturday, I got so mad, uh, I ended up going to the bar. I wasn't <laughs> mad that we got yelled at because, I mean, it was a shit show. Yeah. But I ended up going to the bar because uh, I had to. <laughs> and, and I'm sitting there drinking at the bar, and I looked at my wife randomly out of nowhere, and I was like, honey, we may, we may not be rich, but I got enough McDonald's rewards points to buy the whole drive through around. <laughs> I'm I'm like the Oprah of McChickens. I'm like, you get a McChicken. You get a McChicken. I don't know where it came from. Yeah. I just decided that is uh that's how I'm rolling now. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So. He's the new Ronald McDonald. You're Ronald McDonald if he uh, gained no, about 200 pounds. I'm the Robin Hood Hamburglar. Okay. All right. Fair you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Robin nice. Robin Burglar. Yeah. <sighs> the Hood Burglar. The hood I like burglar. that. That's yeah. Good I like that, better. that is good. <clears throat> is anything else? Is that it? That's it. That okay. That's pretty much it. All right. Well, I'm, uh, yeah. Anyways. Well, let's move oh, on wait, wait, to. Wait, wait. One more thing. I uh, went to oh. the Maya exhibit. Maya? Yeah, in Kansas City, they have uh, it's at Union Station. They have a bunch of artifacts from like the Maya, the yes. Mayan people. Oh fuck yeah! I've and it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I had tickets for like October, but I was like, well, we're already there, so they let me switch them, and I went that day. And I was trying to hurry up and go through it because like the Holocaust thing took me like four hours. Right, right? for sure. Yeah, this we got through it in like forty five minutes because I was like reading as fast as I could. And shit, <laughs> I didn't retain much of it because I was trying to read so fast. But Heck, yeah, uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed, uh, there was a sign on the wall because I've seen a lot of shit. They had a pot, some pottery yeah. that uh, depicted an enema. Which oh, was great. Weird. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that goes way... They go way back. Yeah. Um, but there was a, a big thing on the wall, and it said, Chosen by the Gods. 
And it says, the Maya were fascinated by different body shapes. People with dwarfism were particularly, particularly admired. Their distinct appearance set them apart as chosen beings with links to the world of the gods and the underworld. Works of art often depicted them at court, serving food and drinks, and dancing with deities. They were also shown receiving official gifts, mirrors, cups, fans, chocolate, things of the sort, on behalf of the king. So even the Mayan knew that midgets were magic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so old perfect. perfect. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's awesome. All right, well, we've got a lot to get to, uh, but before we get on to the sports and the fun, uh, I want to give a shout-out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep a guy groomed, and it is guys only. Women, go find your own shit. Uh, they have the Lawnmower 4.0 out still, and it is an excellent product to help you shave your nuts and butthole. Yeah, it's a riding lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's how you get it in your butthole. That's, you got to yeah. ride it. Yep. Ride it. And it has a nice up. vibrate feature whenever you turn it on. It plays Quad you City DJs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it has the adjustable LED light. It also has a docking station, so you can uh, nicely place that on your uh, bathroom counter to show everybody that goes into that bathroom that you shave your nuts, and that's very important. Keep a couple of hairs on that thing, too. Or you can look really disappointing like me. Yeah. Like where it looks like I shave my nuts because it's right on my bathroom counter, <laughs> and then they fucking like, holy shit. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I just don't care. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married for eight years. We stopped giving a fuck. That's easier. Sometimes we get tangled. Yeah, that's all gross. We sit here until it undoes itself. Absolutely. Uh, But they also have other products like the Weed Whacker. Also, they've got Ball Toner that JP likes to use on his face. they got the Bone Rake. No, they don't. What? Uh, No, they don't. They never have. No, that's a lie. It's um, coming. But more it's in- coming soon, guys. The bone rake <laughs> yeah. from Manscaped. But before it. before it starts getting cold out there, it doesn't matter. You want to keep your nuts warm. You want to have deodorant down there so it doesn't smell like Flamunda. And, and that, grow it out during that time, too. Sure. Yeah, yeah stay yeah. warm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but all of the excellent products you can find at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we read every single uh, ad read word for word. And you can go to manscaped.edu, and I had tutorials of me showing you how I shave my balls there you go. once every Christmas. People are going to do that. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's there. <clears throat> yeah. Use the promo code FATASS for that one, and you get a discount on that. Oh, that's, that's a it. free video, actually. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, moving on. I know uh, Fred's not a big sports guy, but we had a lot of shit happening this week that we wanted to go over. Obviously, football season, baby, has started. NFL season has kicked off. Yes, the fucking college football season was entertaining as well, but I didn't write any of that shit down because there's just too much shit going on. Uh, first off, Albert Pujols hit 697 as of the, as of right now. We're recording on a Monday, so if he hits another one, sorry, it'll be outdated. Uh, Derek, mm-hmm. do you think we should test this motherfucker for steroids? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think you just randomly start hitting home runs after sucking for so long. Yeah. Uh, that's how they all got caught in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> this is utterly suspicious. They're not going to test him. No, they won't. Because it's too good of a story, yeah. and they know if they test him, or if they do test him, they're going to be like, hey, Albert, uh, which is my line, by the way. <laughs> yes, it is. They're, they're going to be like, hey, Albert, we're going to test you in eight weeks for steroids. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I, I'm I'm very excited. I get to go up to St. Louis. That's my uh, anniversary gift for uh, me and my wife. We're gonna go up. Hopefully, we get to watch him uh, hit 700 um, and watch him all juiced up. So nice, yeah. Happy anniversary. Go yeah. see a drug user <laughs> in a boring ass city. <laughs> oh, I love it. Afterwards, we might go get some toasted ravioli. Right. Um, <laughs> Spice it up a little bit. Also, uh, there's a TGI Fridays there that yeah. we want to check out. Yeah. I've been that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also, Aaron Judge hits number 55 on the season. Don't think he's going to catch Bonds, but... Uh, well, the real record is still 61. 60, 61, is yeah, it? In yeah, in my opinion. I agree. And uh, I'm a Cub fan, and I know Sosa hit that over that a few years, but the real record is 60. That's, that's correct. Uh, but yeah, with a little over, I think it's 22, 23 games left in the season, something around there. I think he's doing them. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I mean, he is fucking six foot seven, but still. That is, I mean, you got a point. Yeah. So he's huge. He's fucking huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, but moving on to the real stuff, the NFL season kicks off for week one. 
I saw something on Thursday night that I did not think was going to happen, and that was a fucking ass whooping. Like I, I mean, the Bills just beat the shit out of the Los Angeles Rams. Did they? They did. I did not get to see it. No, nope, you was... were at a baseball game. Yep. Uh, but no, the Bills looked good. That who that's who I had picked as my Super Bowl champion, and a lot of people said that this was going to be uh, you know a, a Super Bowl game. This is the, who they they pick in the Super Bowl, and if it is anything like that game, that's going to be a boring fucking Super Bowl. Uh, but the cool thing that happened during that game, Isaiah McKenzie helps announce a gender reveal after scoring a touchdown. The, the camera came right up on his face, and I, I think he said it's a boy. So I thought nice. that was nice. Yeah, How that, old was the kid, like seven, eight? Yeah, yeah he had to yeah. at least be seven or eight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, next thing, uh, a huge fucking surprise was uh, Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Uh, looked like shit against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, if you would have asked me if there was a team that I did not think was going to be bad this year, it was for sure the Cincinnati Bengals. They only improved their squad, and Joe Burrow turned the ball over five fucking times to this Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Holy shit. He threw four interceptions and fumbled once. I uh, actually fumbled twice. He just recovered it uh, only once. So is this uh, is this your normal prediction there, Derek? About the uh, the team that loses the Super Bowl is shit forever. It very well could be. Uh, they didn't uh, they didn't really protect Burrow very much. Mm-mm. So that's the, seems to be the M O there. Yeah. What do you um, What do you think, Fred? They've got all the receiving core in the fucking world. Though. Yeah, they do. How about you, Fred? I mean, I'd like to hang out with Joe Burrow. I would too. Smoke a cigar, yeah. chill. I would too. I think it'd be fun. Uh, also, uh, the Miami Dolphins smoked the New England Patriots. I was actually very impressed with that offense. I really was. Defense looked good as well. Uh, there is a possibility that uh, that is your uh, second playoff team out of that division. Obviously, I think the Bills are going to win that, but uh, the spanking that they put on the Patriots, I think the Dolphins may be another team out of that division that makes the playoffs. What the, do you think? The fuck is in that cup? It's nothing. It's water, bud. All right. They, they did. I don't think <laughs> the they, Dolphins are making the playoffs. I, I, they That's did. That's that too early prediction where you're like, God damn, Aaron Judge hit a home run on <laughs> opening day. He is on pace for 162. <laughs> I fucking hate people. That yeah, do that you're shit. that guy right now. No, they just looked good. They looked in sync. It was nice to to watch. Uh, they looked more you know. backstreet to me. Okay, well, fine. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, here's another one. The uh, the Chicago Bears pulled it out. It cost me money. Yeah, sure did. Mm-hmm. How much money did it cost you? Uh, well, I got the under because I knew the field conditions were shit, so I bet that, and then I parlayed the under on another bet with the with uh, the the Niners minus six and a half. So that one cost me uh, a little over a hundred bucks. Okay, that sucks. Uh, and I can't believe you're not even betting on your own team, man. That's fucking I weird. I know what my team is. Yeah. Shit. And they're, yeah, they beat a team in shit conditions. Yeah, that's true. And with a quarterback that was not impressive during preseason. Yeah. So it's we'll see what happens uh, this <clears throat> week. Did you hear the rumor of them moving out of the city? I hope they do. Because then they're talking about having another team actually be in the city. And I will be a fan of that team. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there, because there you go. <laughs> I am fucking sick of the McCaskey family. I and I just read an article, when that old bitch dies, <laughs> they're going to keep it in the family. So, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, we uh, all want you to die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, another person you want to die, uh, the Green Bay Packers get fucking stomped by the Minnesota Vikings 23-7. to Why did you have to bring that up? Why? I just got my boner to go down like 20 <laughs> minutes ago when I saw your face. Yeah. And now it's right back up again. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Aaron Rodgers just looked bad. And, and I heard a lot of sports analysts talking about this shit, and I... I can't sit there and and say, okay, well, Aaron Rodgers just doesn't have anybody to throw to. You can't say that. You can say he's lost, you know, two wide receivers. Bullshit. Okay, Patrick Mahomes lost Ty- Tyreek Hill, and he threw. I want to say he had like six different wide receivers that caught a ball that game. The Chiefs played. Aaron Rodgers just is not as good as a lot of people think that he is. No, he's not. Yeah, he's had. He's had Jordan. He's had good receivers. Yeah. He doesn't make them. They <clears throat> they make him. Yeah. That's the truth. 
Uh, so it was nice to see that. That contract has fucked that team. Sure did. So uh, the Vikings are winning that division. Yeah, I agree. It's not even going to be close. There's so much talent on that Vikings team. Never know. Bears may come up and surprise you. No. Uh, I'm again, just, what's in that cup? I'm, got just, it. I'm just fucking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but is that straight fucking rubbing alcohol? Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Uh, but, oh, man, I think I'm going to sneeze. But um, next thing, uh, Dak Prescott breaks his thumb during an awful outing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I feel for that guy. Don't feel bad for him at all all why i don't like him i don't think he's that great i never have never will in fact if it were if it were my team jerry jones doing the exact opposite of what i would do because they're even talking about not even putting him on the injured reserve list because then he may be able to come back in four weeks he broke his fucking throwing hand thumb no you don't want to do that if he's your star guy what i would do if i were in this situation is you damn right i would make a marquee trade of some kind to get jimmy garoppolo from san francisco and make him him your quarterback well, after that game the other day i don't know if jimmy garoppolo is on the market right now i agree i think that you fucked up you lost your opportunity but if anybody were to go after him it would be the cowboys but it's not going to happen because they have so much invested in dak prescott and do. i don't i don't think he's good at all they just play in a shitty division and every single time they play outside of their division they get fucking waxed so that's my opinion but i'm glad the cowboys lost and they're not going to be good for uh, at least five to six weeks well uh, they shouldn't be good at all if he sucks yeah they're so, not five to six weeks they should just be bad all season they should be bad all season. if he was that bad i mean whenever you play the nfc least you're gonna lose i think the well, philadelphia the eagles, eagles are a tough team in there i think the eagles win the division the this washington year washington is better washington looks better this year mm -hmm. it's crazy to say with carson wins Ugh. Mm -hmm. but uh yeah so out of all of this after week one who is your super bowl favorite oh gosh yeah who do you think? The Indianapolis Colts. They uh, they tied. I know. That's why I've got them. I think that, that they're on a mission now. Oh, is that it? Mm -hmm. They're like, we're, we're not tying anymore. Yeah? Yeah, so. The AFC South, the entire division went 0-2-2. Oh, two, two. Mm -hmm. We had two ties for, the, I believe, the well, first time. Well, they played time. each other. Yeah. 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 So, but there, there was a tie, uh, and so nobody has a win in the AFC South. So, yeah, gross. Uh, but I've got the Bills. That's that's my team. I think that's the team that is going to win the Super Bowl this it's year. It's a popular pick. Just it, so it's it, not the pick, I'm going to go the Vikings. <clears throat> okay. All right. And that's not a bad pick. How about Fred? Fred, you going to say Chiefs? No, I've been drinking, so I'm going to go with Miami. Okay. That's cool. All right. All right. Dolphins are the Write team out down. of Oklahoma. Yeah, Miami, Oklahoma? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right next to Disney. Right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. He's good. Um, That's a good sleeper. Really excited uh -huh. for this season. It's going to be a fun year. Uh, I'm just glad it kicked off. I think uh, Derek and myself both won our fantasy football uh, games as well. So, uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I got my first loss. You lost? I lost by three. Damn it. Oh, I'll, no. I'll help you set your lineup. Uh, but anyways, moving on. We got the fun <laughs> stuff to get to also. You should have started Reggie Wayne. Yeah, Reggie Wayne. Or I you thought could've, I did. You could have been like me and, and uh, draft mm -hmm. T.Y. Hilton. No, who's the Saints? Thomas? Michael yeah, Thomas. Michael Thomas. Yeah, he was on my bench. Uh, well, wow. he got me like twenty-five points on my bench. Yeah, like, no, he didn't get you any points. He didn't get me any. He, he <laughs> yeah. should have got me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Learn a lesson there. Uh huh. Yep. But we got uh, we got the fun stuff to get to today. Um, obviously, uh, we're gonna try to have fun with Jeremy not being here, so we do not have any bad advice. Uh, but we do have a new segment that I uh, thought I'd throw together, and I really fucking like this one. This one is called "Would You Do It." And this is uh, certain things that the question is, would you do it for 10 grand? Uh, certain situations, and this is going to be fucking fun. I'm surprised suck a dick isn't anywhere on here. I'm, I'm, I've got some that I'm holding back on for later. Okay. Okay? All right. Uh, so anyways, first well, knows, one. Suck yeah, a dick for $10. For yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Uh, so anyways, would you do it? And I got $10 to prove it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Heck, we're on camera. Let's see this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so would you do it? Go streaking at an MLB playoff game for ten grand. Depends. Is well, that what you're wearing? <laughs> <or> not? <laughs> yeah. not, you're, you're naked. It depends on who's playing. <laughs> okay. If it's the A's, absolutely. Nobody's going to see it. <laughs> Nobody will be there. I don't know. There was that one dude that caught the caught the girlfriend sucking a guy off up in the top of the bleachers. Yeah, they're going to be filming that. They're not going to be filming me running around naked. So if it's the A's, yes. Any other team, no. No way. Okay. Uh, here's the deal. If you go streaking 
you're going to fucking jail. And and the bills that come with that ain't going to be covered by 10 grand in my opinion. So, uh no, I'm not doing this. Fred? I mean, honestly, I'd probably say hell yeah. Yeah. But the the bad part, like you said, getting arrested, yeah. it's not only a felony, it's a sex offense. <laughs> oh. Because there will be children in that audience. Oh. Fuck, I'm already on the list, so, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> so you got to think about that. Uh-huh. In, in, a, in a, what is it, bow rat? In a bow rat suit, whatever? Oh, yeah. Done. Okay. Done. <laughs> Covered my genitals so I'm not a sex offender? <laughs> Done. Okay. <laughs> that's fair. All right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I'd still do it in an A's game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> If There's you, no kids yeah, in that if you, if, you, if you took your kids to an A's game, <laughs> they got straight F's on their report card, or they <laughs> or set the neighbor's garage on they've fire. They've already seen it. Yeah, yeah they, they're already in trouble. That's their punishment. Yeah, you're so. a piece of shit if you take your kids to an A's game. Okay, next one. Would you do it? Punch a perfect stranger in the face, but your friends get to pick the stranger for 10K. No. Why? Because my friends are assholes, <laughs> just like they, I am. They pick my So they're either picking the biggest <laughs> son of a bitch within a fucking 20-mile square radius yep. or a chick. Ooh. <laughs> and I would not hit either of those. I don't think I would pick a chick. A Mike Tyson-looking motherfucker, you damn right. Yeah, and I think it, facial reconstructive surgery costs <laughs> a whole a lot, lot more, more than $10,000. Yes. So I'm going to say no. Yeah, I'm also going to ride that same pony. I'm going to go absolutely not. I know Derek. Derek's a prick, and I would get knocked the fuck out. Fred? Mm -hmm. I say yeah. Yeah, you do it. I'd walk up to the biggest, ugliest, baddest guy. Chick, be like, you want to make five grand? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Clock that motherfucker right there. Done. They're going to be happy. Yeah. I'm going to be richer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you found the loophole. See? All right. Next one. Would you do it for 10K? Get your entire body waxed. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I would do that 100%. 100%. The face is going to fucking hurt. Yeah. The head, I the think. The head, I think. That's going to hurt. Both heads. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. Uh, if you got hair on your penis head, <laughs> you got bigger problems. <laughs> Should I, I, uh, I probably need to get my manscaped. Yeah, that's right. yeah. It's like a fucking cheap. If your <laughs> dick looks like Cousin It, you got shit to worry about. <laughs> he was the star of the show. <laughs> that's. Yeah, that's that's right. I, first, first of all, I am not a hairy individual. I, I barely have hair under my arms. I've never been a hairy guy except for my face and my head, uh, and one particular place on my body that just randomly grows hair, and that is around my nipples. And that is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. But I think everything else will pretty much be all right. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'd do it. Brett, that's tough. Really. That's tough. You're a hairy motherfucker. I'm not terribly hairy, but I got some hair. <laughs> yeah. Like the ass crack and the taint. <laughs> yeah. That's that's questionable. Ten grand. I, like, is it like two wax strips? Like one half of my body? Or is <laughs> no. It Forty thousand little ones. Forty thousand little ones. The, the whole thing. The you wouldn't do no. it for ten k? Nope. Oh well. Shit, I would look, oh man, I would look like I'm just getting out of chemo for the third round. Call you powder for yeah, Halloween? Yeah, uh-huh. Either that or somebody in the Aryan Brotherhood. All right. Uh, You've always wanted to join. Shut the it. fuck up. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, next one. Would you do it for 10K? Get a tattoo. Only your friends get to pick the tattoo and the location. No. <laughs> no? No. Even if it's small. What if it's small? No, well, that's it's my friends, <laughs> and, and it's not going to be small. Yeah, and so and they'll probably do it like right on the tip of my dick, and well, it I'm wouldn't be dead. very big then. No, no it'd Jesus. be small. So it wouldn't take long. Like <laughs> that'd be all right. No, but that would still. Uh, uh, no needle goes there. No, I'm good. No, your friends. Just a straw. Your, <laughs> one of your friends already knows, and I'm taking your joke. I'm stealing your fucking joke, and it is Dick Tracy. Uh, I am yeah. tattooing your fucking face. And so, and I, I know Derek, and I know Jeremy, and I know Fred. Fuck no. I'm not doing this shit either. You guys are dicks, and that's probably what I'm getting on my face as well. So, yeah. How about you, Fred? I would tattoo Scotty's social security number on my forehead. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't get anything. No, you really wouldn't. <laughs> but, yeah. How about uh, you, Fred? Yeah, that's, that's my only clause is if it's on the face. I, right? I'm yeah. not like 
you can't fuck up somebody's life. It's yeah. got to be a face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's so end of the dick, nuts, yeah. face. One you know, of the three. Anywhere else, I'm in, I'm on board. Do it. <laughs> really? Do it. Oh, yeah. I don't give a shit. I've got plenty of tattoos. Give me more. They can cover them up. They can remove them. Fred's got a whole bunch of like, we're, like weird fucking tattoos, too. Yeah, I've got a taco vato on my leg. <laughs> he does. I've got a taco with a bandana. That's yep. my taco vato. Sure uh, does. Okay. He's, he loves so. tacos. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, are we still getting matching tattoos, Fred? Her 10 grand? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, it may cost Let's that much. I found a great artist down in Oklahoma City. Let's go. No kidding? Are we getting power line? Yep. Fuck yeah, let's do it. You guys should get matching tattoos of Lance Bass. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Fuck that no, would I'm be not Lance hilarious. Bass. If you're paying for it, I'll do it. Uh, that would be <laughs> hilarious. No. no Why? I'm, get one on your calf. No, I'm getting... I'm Lance getting, Bass. Lance Bass on your ass. I'm That'd getting, be great. I'm getting power line, motherfucker. What is power line? Power You don't know power... A goofy, goofy movie, movie, motherfucker. I don't know what that is. Oh, geez. That was that was like your area, too. Like, that's My early. area? Yeah, like 90s. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Your wheelhouse. Goofy. That's a better word. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, last one. Would you do it for 10K? Have a sign in your yard for a week that reads registered sex offender. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That would be in big letters, and then underneath it would say at one. No. No, no. <laughs> they would have Scotty's address underneath it. <laughs> and that is not my address, so we're good. But anyways. That's the neighbors. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Or it'd be like a garage sale sign with an arrow. Just keep pointing this way, and it would go all the way to all Scotty's all the way house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, for a week? Fuck yeah, dude. I'd do it for a fucking week for 10 grand. Are you serious? There would be no kids coming up to my house and ringing my fucking doorbell or bothering me. Everybody just leave me the fuck alone. Can I have that sign from like... October 26th <laughs> to November 2nd. <laughs> yes, you can. That would be fantastic. It's coming right around the corner, I dude. I could eat all the Halloween candy to myself. Yep. Fuck yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly right. Turn turn the turn the porch light on those. Let those oh, kids... Oh, for sure. Let's yeah. try for and come sure. up here. <laughs> <laughs> no, please come up and ring the doorbell. I dare you. I'll wear my Goodwill roulette outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look like a baby monk. Yeah. All waxed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Fred? Check out my tat. Check Says kid out. fucker right here. Right here, baby. <laughs> you know what I did to get on the sex vendor list. <laughs> uh, anyway. I mean, with this one, I'm going to double down. Fuck it. I'm going to go streaking at the playoff game. Yeah. And then put the sign in my yard. 20 grand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Uh, fuck yeah. There's my uh, whole annual paycheck. There you go. Set. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, First guy that rings a doorbell. Want to make five grand? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bam. See? See? <laughs> you wouldn't have the choice to put that sign in your yard. Uh, you would be required. Okay. Yeah. But that was Would You Do It? I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed that. I, I sure did. So, uh, but yeah. Now I get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, you know the drill. Uh, we have a bunch of comments, and uh, is it real or fake? Uh, so anyways, real shit or horse shit, I have forgot an important anniversary or birthday with my spouse. Let me tell you something, Scotty. <laughs> no, it's real, man. As, uh. as I sit here today, <laughs> it is living proof I have not. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Because I would not be alive nope. had I done that. So no, I have not forgotten any of that. So this is horse shit for you? Yes, horse shit. Okay, this is real shit for me. Oh, I know it was. Just her birthday this year. Just birthday this year. Well, I, we're filming. I, no, she doesn't watch this on shit. The, whatever. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing podcasts on your anniversary. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, but no, I remember the anniversary for sure. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. I, we talked about it the night before, and I woke up the next morning and totally slipped my mind. And I saved it, though. I did fucking save it. I ended up going out, and at, when it hit me, I, it was at my lunch hour, and so I was like, oh, shit. And so I went and got flowers and like surprised her at work because that's really easy to do and saved it. I saved it completely. And I was like, did you think that I would forget your birthday? Well, I kind of thought you did. No, I wouldn't do that. Don't you get on Facebook every morning? No. I have not been getting on Facebook very often. Uh, well, yeah, that's how you find out. Yep, sure is. How about you, Fred? Mine's real shit. Yep. I got a terrible fucking memory. Same. I mean, I have put it in my phone calendar as a reminder. Mm -hmm. A month out, a week out, a day out. Yep. And I'll still forget. Yep, I hear you. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck that sound is, but anyway. Um, I don't know. Uh, real shit or horse shit. 
I prefer a woman with a nice ass over a woman with nice boobs. 100% real shit. <laughs> 100%. Ooh. I mean, what's she doing, first of all? Like, <laughs> you have to earn that nice ass sometimes. You have to do squats and fucking yeah. all that shit. Yeah. Nice boobs. Some You just get them. <laughs> like, yeah. That happens. Yeah. Not a whole lot I don't think you can do outside of that stupid thing. With the, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think there's anything else you can do. Uh, and eventually, as nice as them titties are, they are going to drop. That's mm. kind of where I was going. The ass, it drops, but it takes a lot longer than boobs. You have a kid, and that, that they kind of just go away. They're deflated. Well, and boobs can be deceiving. Because, yeah, like, I mean, there's much. bras that can fucking just make them look like they are just fantastic, and then they take them, the bra off, and it's like, that's that's what you got? I'm still going to yeah, touch you them. lying motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, we're still, yeah, it's still happening. It's, not, not it's to tougher <laughs> to do that, I think, outside of leggings. I think they have those leggings yeah, that, like, make your ass yeah. look great. Not to mention, um, they you can buy them now. You can buy, well, you can buy butt you lift, buy too. But, yeah, you can buy butt. But, but uh, boobs don't cost near as much as they used to. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm going for the butt. How about you, uh, Fred? I mean, uh, how did you I'm, not scream a gay joke right then and there, dude? I said what? I'm going for the butt, going for the butt. and I was just you waiting for it. it to. I was just waiting. It's for 2022, it. Scotty. <laughs> okay, I just was. We're all in the butt. <laughs> True. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Go ahead. Goodness. Uh, Fred. I mean, a nice ass is a lot more fun to clap. That's than true. A set of boobs. That's true. So, hundred percent. I mean, I like. I really like boobs. I do too. I love but boobs. I got my own. No, those aren't. That's those, not the those same. Are moobs. Those yeah. are different. Yeah. yeah no, they, I can make them look nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With that push-up bra you were talking Absolutely. about. <laughs> okay. I lost one of my tassels though, so it looks weird. Fred's weird. got one. It looks like beers. my left tit just graduated and my right one was homeschooled. That's Fred. what it looks like. <laughs> Fred has one of his pierced. Nice. I, do. I had two, one ripped out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> be oh, careful. God. God damn, that was the homeschooled one. That was exactly the homeschooled one. I <laughs> dumb son of a bitch didn't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. I forgot you told me about that. Uh all right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. Even if it takes longer. I will take 10 shortcuts just so I don't have to sit in traffic. I got a real fuck story about this. Go for it. So, uh, what was it? Last week, uh, my girlfriend and I were over here mm -hmm. uh, for dinner for BattleBots. Yeah. yeah. We drove separate cars because I just got done flying. Right. So, when we leave, um, I've got a headlight short circuit out. Yep. So, anyways, I was like, I'm going to follow you home so I don't get pulled over. So we leave your neighborhood. She takes a right to the main road. I take a left to the back road. I was hmm. like, I had my blinker on. I flashed my lights at her. She kept going right. The main road has, we'll say, 13 stoplights. Yeah. The back road has one stoplight and two four ways. Yep. She went to Dairy Queen and got ice cream and beat me home. Are you serious? I am fucking cursed. I swear to God. <laughs> like, talk about shortcuts, anything. Yeah. I get stuck behind grandma. Oh, yeah. Or a, a dog or <clears throat> fucking Amish. There's a dog that drives a car? Yeah. You haven't seen him? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. God. I, I, I would be bitch. all right getting stuck behind that. It's really hard. You can't flip him off because he doesn't get it. No. Well, he gets it. He just can't flip you, and he can't flip you back <laughs> off. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's why it looks like. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, it depends on the situation for me. Okay. I will drive out of my way to avoid construction. That's 100%. I 100% I, 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 I will completely do that. agree. I, but if it's typically, no, I want the shortest route there. Okay. I, 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 here's the deal, man, though. If I know that there is, if I know that there's like a wreck or something like that on the main highway, here I'll, get, town, I'll get out of that. I'm off. Yeah. I, and I will go through downtown if I need to, to try and avoid that. Cause I just, I don't like sitting still. That drives me fucking nuts. ADHD kicks in like a motherfucker. So I can't do that. So th this is real shit for me. I'm such an asshole too. Cause like whenever it's on the highway and it's backed way up and you've been sitting for like fucking 45 minutes and I'm like, Somebody better be fucking dead. <laughs> like, like, <Yep. laughs> like whatever I have to do is like so important that I'm like that guy better not even be alive. Exactly. Or I am going to be mad at him. And you get you get up there, you pass the car, and you finally yeah. see it, and that thing is folded together like a goddamn sandwich, and you're like, oh, okay, all right. He, yeah, he, you're like, all right, I feel better. I feel then. better. Now. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. It's the only way it's acceptable to sit for 45 minutes is if somebody is not breathing anymore. That's right. Uh, okay, next <laughs> next one. Real shit or horse shit. When I'm having beers with the boys, my spouse would be the first one to call and check on me. This, there's a story behind this. And that I know, I've heard it before. A whole bunch of guys will go out and have dinner. And they'll put all of their phones in the middle in a basket. And whoever's wife calls first to check up on them, that person pays the tab for the entire table. And if that happened to me, I'm fucked. So this is real shit. There. Oh, that's horseshit. I usually let her know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm going out to have beers with uh, Giant Man and and Jeremy Joseph. Mm -hmm. She'll be like, all right, well, have fun. Yep, that's ball game. That we we do not. We're not uh, now. If it's two thirty in the morning, yeah. There was one day I came home. Uh, I got too fucked up, and uh, my buddy Lance gave me a ride back to the house. Mm-hmm. Not Lance Bass, believe it or not. Okay, yeah, bullshit. Uh, but but he gave me a ride back to the house, and we were sitting in the driveway bullshitting. He used to be my boss, right? Yeah. Where I bartended at, yeah. and we're just sitting there bullshitting. It was like three thirty in the morning, and finally my wife walks out. She was asleep. Walks out of the house because I didn't answer the phone. And uh, opens the garage and sees me sitting there, and she has got the fucking death stare. <laughs> and I was like, I better go. And I'm like, hey, I didn't drive. I was smart for once. I was responsible. <laughs> yeah. Well, you weren't answering, but typically, no, she doesn't. If I'm out with the, with the boys, it doesn't matter. Oh, man. I wish that were so true for me. Uh, Fred? I'm on that horse shit. I'm okay. A, it, yeah. It's kind of a... Kind of a uh, Two part or whatever. Uh, we share our locations on our phones. Oh yeah. So she can just check wherever I am. She knows I'm still out. She knows I'm not in a ditch, whatever. Um but I don't think she can give a shit. No. I could go right. through I could count on one hand how many times she's called me in the past year. Yeah. So call, text, nothing. Sure. So she just check my location and if it's bedtime, she's going to bed. So I'll I'll even let her know. I'll let my wife know. I'll do it. Hey, I'm going out with work. We're gonna have a couple beers. I'll I'll be home when I get home. Th- thinking that that's good enough. No, no. It's eleven o'clock, eleven thirty. I'm fucked. Mm-hmm. She's gonna call. She's like, so, let me smell your fingers. <laughs> yeah, no. That you, smells a lot like coconut. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> okay. Next one, or I'm sorry, last one. Real shit or horse shit. Whenever I drive, my spouse gets scared. She complains about how aggressive I'm driving, and she side seat drives. 100% fucking true. 100%. And she'll put her fucking hand on the ceiling of the car oh, on the God. roof. Really and I'm like, yourself. what the fuck is that going to do? Like, I don't need a seat belt. Huh. Now I'm safe. Save my life. Like, are you fucking kidding me? She's just praising Jesus. Yeah, well. but you want me to drive in Chicago? That's fine. Don't get mad when I bring Chicago back to Kansas, okay? I don't know why it takes two miles to get up. To, who fucking merges on a highway at 35? Here, everyone but me. That's right. Yeah. Yes. It's fucking true. God damn, I drive that. I got a six-cylinder, and I drive that shit like it's a fucking Hellcat. <laughs> I have learned to cut pe- I have bad depth perception, but I know how to cut a motherfucker off now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is 100% real shit. My wife is the exact same way. Like, I'll, be, I'll just be driving over to, like, Fred's house. I mean, it's like, what, 10, 15 minutes the whole way? Yep. You run through a whole bunch of stoplights? It doesn't fucking matter. I use turn signals and everything, but I just drive aggressively. So here's my wife in the passenger seat holding on to the oh shit handle, freaking the fuck out and going, geez, you can slow down, you know? No, I can't. This is how I drive, and I'm not in any wrecks. So, shh. Brent? No, I, I've only got one part of that. Mine's horse shit. Uh, she doesn't complain. She's not scared. She's used to it. I'm an angry driver. It's the same. But it, I drive with intent. Yeah. I know where the fuck I'm going. I can see where everyone is. I'm good. I've never been in a wreck. All that shit. Yep. But she is the side seat driving queen. <laughs> Ten feet from my turn. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to turn there? Did you see my blinker? <laughs> Then I'm not fucking turning there. <laughs> the one that I will do, I will side seat drive on this, is my wife will get on like Kellogg, which is a three-lane highway here. Yep. She'll get on Kellogg and be in the left lane. 
and I'm like, oh, in the fast lane, and I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> like you get in the be middle, going 80. you get in the middle, and and we go, I like if it's sixty, I go sixty five, sixty six. A lot of people fly eighty, oh, but yeah, I don't I'm roll, I don't roll the left lane, I roll in the middle lane. Okay. If I pass, I get in the left lane and then back over in the middle. Yeah. Lane. Same, like you're if supposed she to. passes, she's in the left lane, and so like I'll start seeing cars pass us in the right lane, and I'm like. Honey, you can get over, and it pisses her off. I know it does, because she's kind of shitty about it. She finally gets over, but I'm like, I would fucking murder you if I was behind you oh, yeah. in a car. Yeah. I do have to call. I do have to call you out on one thing, though, Fred. What's that? Uh, and it's not your spouse. It's it's me and my wife in the back seat when you were driving to go. Y'all skiing. are chicken shit. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all are chicken shit. We're going through mountains and it's got fucking snow and the ice on the ground. Speed limit is forty five. I'm going forty two. <laughs> Bullshit. No, no. He drives chicken like shit. a maniac through the mountains. But and did you die? No, I didn't. Did we I, go off the road? Close. Uh, but no. We did not. See? Yeah. But anyways, that is real shit or horse shit for this week. Uh, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Guys, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram for any of these. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to us on Instagram. I think that's probably going to end up being a bigger deal here in the near future. So Instagram and TikTok is kind of overlooking as of right now. Uh, but we're going to start off with the very first one, overrated or underrated, fan fights at a game. Mm. This would be the Detroit Lions and the Philadelphia Eagles this week. Uh, man, it just depends for me. I think if like you got a fucking Raiders and a Niners fan fighting, I, it's, 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 nah, fucking, it's nah. kind of embarrassing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same thing, Eagles and Lions. Yeah. But, but when you get like a Raiders fan fighting another Raiders fan, <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> that, that is my favorite. When you get fans of the same team throwing hands, yeah. there's nothing better than that. Uh, yeah, th- this is underrated all the way around for me. I love watching it, and it doesn't have to be the same team. You get the Kansas City Chiefs fans and then the Raiders fans going at each other's throats. Holy shit, it is a holy war, and I think it's fucking great. Fred? Well, y'all know me. I'm not a sports guy. It's overrated as shit. <laughs> okay. You're paying that much money to go to that fucking game. Yeah. And then you're going to be paying that much more money because you can't go to the games ever again. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because you're a fucking moron. Yeah, that's true. Or somebody paid that guy $10,000 <laughs> $10, to hit a stranger in the face. Yeah, but that's not a fight. <laughs> that's two guys making five grand. <laughs> and he did it naked. <laughs> right. Perfect. That's two yeah, guys making grand. 10 grand. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> now that's a show I would watch. There you go. <laughs> naked Call fighting. Lance Bass. Yeah. There you go. All right, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Talk to text. Very underrated. Okay. I, I am that guy that does it, and I punctuate. Oh, yeah. Instead of like, hey, Scotty, comma, go fuck yourself, <laughs> exclamation <laughs> point, 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 dot, 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 seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You know you can make that a shortcut. You can. <laughs> what? Yeah. You can have a speak to text shortcut. How do you do that? Set it up in your phone. Oh, Say, you're gonna show me Say, this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 on the fence here because yes, I, I pretty much almost all the time if I'm sending a text message, I'm doing the exact same thing that Derek just described. I punctuate. I I do all of that. Here's the problem. My phone still does not understand every word that I am saying. It's because you're drunk half the time. No. Uh, it happened to me today. I, I'm, I haven't drank anything. It, it's Well, you were you at work? Yeah. Yeah, you were drunk. No, I fucking wasn't. He's Jeez. got a problem, Fred. Yeah. Anyways, no. It's, it still doesn't fucking understand what I'm trying to say. So a lot of the times it will say shit that I did not mean to, and that gets you in trouble. But I'm going to say it's underrated. Fred? Man, I wish, I mean, it's underrated. I wish it worked. Yeah. I don't think I mumble. Yeah. Siri thinks I mumble. Mm-hmm. Sonic thinks I mumble. <laughs> Motherfuckers can't get anything right. I'm like, I need a double cheeseburger and a large Dr. Pepper. And I, I say it slow. And they're like, what'd you want to drink? I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> So no, you can go through my text messages and see what speaks to text because I just don't, I don't give a shit. I don't punctuate. I'm like, I'll be home at four and it says LBT nine. That's what you get. <laughs> I text <Yeah>. you back. 
Les- uh, lesbians, bi, trans, and nine year olds. Nine year olds. I support all. We are coming for we you. We support every one of you guys. Fuck yeah. Uh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, the one thing that I've accidentally done is that, and it's always big, been my big fear whenever I was in sales, and I, it finally it happened, is like I'll accidentally text somebody the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Like uh, that I was meant for somebody Dick else. Picks. And I had a customer text me. Totally. This is back in uh, 14, I think, 2014. When the Royals were like good mm-hmm. and they lost in the World Series that year, but my dad was texting me and I fucking hated Mike Moustakis <laughs> because he was like an automatic out for so long when he would come up. The last two years he was in Kansas City, he was good, but all those other years he was bad. And so my dad texted me and he was like, Moose is back to sucking again. <laughs> and so and then a customer had texted me about a car or something, and then I texted back who I thought was to my dad but was to the customer, and all it said was, <laughs> sucking is what mooses do best. <laughs> <laughs> Great customer uh, service. Try, try to weasel your you. way out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, immediately went, sorry, wrong person. <laughs> I called him. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was like, man, I am so sorry. I was trying to talk to my dad. It was about the Royals. Like, oh, you talking about Moose Dockus? I said, yes, thank God. I said, he drives me nuts. And my dad told me he was back to being terrible. And that's what I sent back. And it looked really bad. <laughs> I guarantee you, you sold that car. God damn it. He should have called me and been like, what's going on? Hey, I can't talk. I'm on a hunting trip. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, right, I'm up in Canada hunting. What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's that flying squirrel? Right. Um, <laughs> all right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Potato guns. Uh, this is fucking underrated. Is that like a potato with muscles? Oh, no. No, 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 no. If you've never made a potato gun out of PVC pipe, you're missing the fuck out. No, I've eaten a potato on PCP once, uh, but I've yeah. never. No, no, about the same. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, pretty much. No, potato guns are fucking awesome. Uh, you, it's basically a PVC pipe that goes that's pretty long, and then it has like a, a chamber that has a uh, like a grill starter on it, and you open it up on the back and spray hairspray or something really flammable in it, and then when you hit when you close it and hit that fucking starter button, like the igniter. Uh huh. That motherfucker shoots out of it like a goddamn missile launcher. It's awesome. Boy, that's a real fuck you to the Irish back in the potato <laughs> famine, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just go through that's, and just start mowing them down with potato that's guns. That's how I make my french fries, though. Yeah. I just put a metal grate at the end of the PVC. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> nice. sure. That's nice. See awesome. if I can make them straight in the fryer. Yeah. yeah. That's, Done. that's like the redneck hibachi grill. That's like, what I do when I Who wants tailgate. to catch a fry? <laughs> 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 yep. Yep. Uh, how about you? Well, I guess uh, you do, you've never seen one, so you don't really know, do you, Derek? I don't know much about them. No. Oh, shit. You need to look them up. They're fucking awesome. How about well, you, Do Fred? you like potatoes? Oh, they're delicious. Do you like guns? Eh, take or leave them. See, this is a gun for food. Mm. <laughs> yeah. shoot, shoot the potato at your wife at point blank range. She'll love it. For 10 grand? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't you ever call and check on me again. You just cost us $148 at Applebee's. Just, just. Oh, shit. All right. Next one. <laughs> Overrated or underrated? Stuffed crust pizza. I'm torn. Are you? I, I hate crust. Yeah? But I love cheese. Yeah. So if, if I'll sacrifice it so others can eat it, but I will peel out the cheese and not eat the crust. Really? Really. That's weird. That's fucking that's, delicious. That's What's weird. even weirder if someone's like, can I have the crust you just peeled? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 well, my dog does, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> uh, you crust-eating motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I, dude, I love, I love Pizza Hut's Tough Crust. It, it, it's it's the bomb, but you can't have it every single time. You got to go in breaks, like you got to thin crust. Yeah, you way. you've got to go in in like spurts, uh, and then you can have it like once every two three months. But if you do it every time, it just kind of wears off. So, yeah, but, eat, but it's underrated. If you eat thin crust, you might as well just eat the fucking toppings. That's what I do. That's <laughs> it. Just give me a fork and scrape it off. Yeah, I'm See? fucking stuffed crust all day. Yeah, I love that shit. However. Uh, Pizza Hut came out one year with hot dog stuffed crust pizza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Yes. More meat. No. No. Yes. No. no. Yes. 
<laughs> Absolutely not. I don't know. I've never heard about this before. Oh, yeah. Fuck that it shit. It was a thing. Oh, gross. Hot dog stuffed crust I pizza. I would eat it. Oh, that's all disgusting. Day. Oh. You finish your pizza. Okay. And then you get a hot dog. No. It's or you finish your pizza. Bun. And then you get more pizza because it's more cheese. Yeah. And then yeah. just dunk that bitch in marinara. You got more pizza, Fred. Yeah. Perfect. See, yeah, that's, that's how you get some people to eat crust. That's fucking gross. Okay, so you know how me and you, Fred, make fun of Jeremy about the goddamn McRib? That's your McRib. That's disgusting. Oh, the McRib's delicious. Oh, I know. McRib's Both disgusting. you and Jeremy are fucking crazy. Okay, last one. Overrated or underrated wet t-shirt contests. Here's the deal. The wet t-shirt contests mm -hmm. have won me quite a bit of money. Oh, <laughs> Really? Oh. I don't like to brag, but I am a multi-level champion. <laughs> uh, I think oh. we just found your new intro for yeah. the mm -hmm. show. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This yeah. was before the one was homeschooled. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so uh -huh. they were both good. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Yep, that was when they were in their prime. So, yeah, I'm going to go underrated. Okay. Uh, that's weird, uh, but I'm going <laughs> underrated for a completely different reason. <laughs> Wet t-shirt contests are fucking awesome when you're on spring break. That's all you need to fucking know. Because it's always the freaking hot slutty ones that want to get up and do it because they want all the attention in the world. And it it's good time. So Scotty, you're underrated. Like, you're like 40 almost now, so you are not allowed to go to spring break anymore. It's half your age plus seven. <laughs> That's the rule. God damn, I bet you love 20. Unless it's an even year. <laughs> what? Unless it's an even year. Uh, yeah. So true. even years negates that all. Yeah, it's Odd true. years odd plus years, seven. Odd, yeah, then you're good. How about you, Fred? I mean... What if you are seven? I'm, I act like, so I, half your age. I act like I'm fucking seven. Yeah. So, yeah. It happens. Yeah. Everybody wants to see boobies. Uh, yeah. Like, <clears throat> would wet... Uh, are you speak to text in there? <laughs> <laughs> what are the, what are the I know things? why you don't Leggings. get your Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I know why. I know why you don't get Straight Dr. Up. Pepper. I, I just started picturing wet boobs. And I couldn't go anywhere. So. I'll have a double cheeseburger and a Dr. <laughs> boobs. Pepper. <laughs> Pep <-er. laughs> that's not, that's my problem. Now, what, yeah. thanks for pointing that yeah. out. You're talking too slow, Fred. You gotta <laughs> speed it up. Oh God, oh. no leggings. What about like a wet legging contest? Oh fuck, that's that. Uh, that's I, pissing your pants, Fred. <laughs> yeah. Do that it. Is, that is not Save my kind the of whales. Content. Why are we wasting water I, when I, you have some? Yeah. I don't know if they'd want to do that. They probably would if you paid them ten grand. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that is overrated and underrated for this week. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, guys, have any suggestions? Send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. First question of the week. Mundane activities that would be improved with nudity. Fred, you go first. Showers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Are you never nude? You, you don't want more nudity in your shower? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I sure do. Like more people that are naked? Yeah. Lance Bass, I mean, pay him 10 grand, he'll be Come right there. Come on in. <laughs> you go. He's got the best nipples in the business. <laughs> He's probably right. He does. Uh, shit. I, I, there's a whole bunch of things for this. Uh, I, <clears throat> excuse me. I did uh, lifting weights. Uh, that would improve it. Um, but, uh, there's that mm -hmm. there's curling. I think that would be very well improved if there was nudity involved in if that. If they change the camera angle. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, cause they got, you know, the couples, uh, deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then some of those girls are freaking gorgeous. Uh, ping pong, ping pong, I think would be awesome, but m above all badminton. Okay. That's what I'm going with. How about you, Derek? Outfit roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Guess what we're doing next just, weekend. Just show up on the Goodwill butt-ass naked and be like, what do you got for me? What do you got? I'm here for you. I, I take this shit seriously. We start with the drawers. <laughs> oh, my God. Where's your donated drawers? Do you, do you have any 4X? <laughs> No, they probably won't. <laughs> How about a needle and thread? I'll make my own. <laughs> Just give me some yarn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just give me a, some scissors in this quilt. I'll, be, I'll make it happen. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Next question. Uh, let's see. Oh, an odd sequel to the children's book, The Cat in the Hat. I went the hunt for the cunt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's nice. good. 
Uh, I might yeah, just sex ed book. <laughs> McMurray. <laughs> French fried potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking McMurray. Yeah. That's, Cut uh, fest 2022. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I, I went with, uh, mine's dumb. Uh, the dog with the lipstick. That's what I went with. Okay. Yeah. So give myself that. How about yeah. you, Derek? Uh, the orangutan and the gang bang. <laughs> oh my God. I would buy that book. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> a, uh, it, is it going to be a 10 season series? Yeah. It could be. It depends on the popularity of the first one. There it's might a be a big prequel. big gang bang. Yeah. It might be a prequel. I'm Who interested knows? in who's illustrating this right now. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm, I'm I'm interested in that. Todd McFarland. Oh, okay. Fair. Maybe you would do it. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that made Spawn. <laughs> All uh, right. Wasn't that Todd McFarland? I, I think, think it was. I think yeah. so, yeah. E D yeah. dead. Uh, next question. What's a bad thing for a storm chaser to say during a tornado warning? We've lost all the radar. We have no clue where this thing's coming from. Okay. That'd be bad. That could be. No, yeah. That could be. That'd be you, Fred. Uh, any twister quote? Oh, fuck yeah. Any, any quote? Go with twister? it. Yeah. I don't I'm, that, there's too many. What about a know, Borat quote? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Just, it's, yeah, just Borat quotes when the tornado's going on. <laughs> My life. <laughs> uh, is that yours? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Uh, holy shit. A tornado <laughs> warning. Let's go take shelter in that trailer park. <laughs> yeah, that, they yeah. fucking zero in on those they motherfuckers. They fucking do. Uh, if, you do. If you are not from the Midwest or if you're not from Kansas and you don't get a whole bunch of tornadoes, everybody's terrified of them other than us. Like, we don't give a shit. Yeah, I'd go chase them. Yeah, absolutely. If you can see it, you're safe. <laughs> and if you catch it, you win. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's Nobody's fun, ever caught one. Yeah. That's a fun game attack. That ain't tornado no shit. tag. That's, That's what, what it is. Tornado tag. Uh, the brand. shit that Kansas You're people it. do. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! But no horse shit. Uh, uh, we do that. Uh, Derek even has the the what is it? The Frank scale. Oh yeah, that, yeah. I abandoned that. Okay, well, good. I'll use <laughs> yeah. it. Um, the The actual tornado scale is the what is it? Fukushima. The Fujita scale. Fujita scale. Uh, so you got like F one, F two, F three, F four, F five, and uh, it, it, we kind of go by the Frank scale, and that's our neighbor. That's Frank. what I said. Yeah, I go. What, I said I go by the Frank scale. Yeah. The F one is a Frank one, and that's just whenever you're sitting in the bar with your buddies talking about how it ain't going to do shit, right? Yeah. And then the F two, that's a little <laughs> more serious. That's whenever you actually do head home and you're starting to watch it around your wraparound porch. Yeah. And then uh, I can't remember what the F three was, but F F three Frank three. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. I thought though. he was sitting down in the front front yard. Probably in the front yard. In the front yard, going out to telling look. all the kids to come out. And look yeah, at come it. out and look at the it. The Frank four was whenever you had to go fucking. Park your Cummins diesel under in the gas station because you don't have full coverage insurance. Yep. You don't want the hail to hit it. That's it. And then an F five is whenever you're on the news talking about how it, it's just so amazing that you know, the whole house was torn to shit, but the Bible on the coffee table hasn't moved. <laughs> that is, yep, that's true. All right, next question: A weird end of the date proposal. Would you like to come back to my place and blank color? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think couples do enough of that anymore. They don't. They anymore. don't. You guys they want to make... come back to my house and color? <laughs> you got to say it real weird. You don't have too. to stay inside the lines. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Get crazy with it. Yeah. We can color by numbers. Mm -hmm. You want to come color? Yeah. Um, come on, baby. <laughs> Let's color. I'm gonna, now I want to go home and color. I know. Fuck what? this podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, do you say, what do you say we say? Uh, Swing by the store on the way home, get a sixty-four pack of Crayolas, and maybe <laughs> Crayolas with the sharpener. Maybe maybe do some coloring. Oh shit! <laughs> um, get a glass of wine, break out the book. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. No, the orangutan and the, the gang. Orangutan bang. And the gang bang. <laughs> the illustrated <laughs> coloring book. Yeah. I guess <laughs> Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Uh, I, mine is, uh, would you like to come by my place and uh, play board games? Okay. Chinese checkers. That's my favorite. I think I'm going to be laying down the puss while you're going to be playing uh, solitaire. Uh, They're going to be none. stuffing crayons no, in his butthole. You got to rotate him. You, gotta, you know, sorry. Yeah, you got to play sorry. That's how your date's going to feel when that's, she comes over. That's right. Ironically, <laughs> that's what Scotty says when he takes his pants off. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. This is the board game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
How about you? Let me get the money. Let me go over to the Monopoly drawer. Hang on. There you go. Here's your 10. Yeah. You got change for that? Yeah. Great. How about you, Fred? Uh, would you like to come over to my place and do some karaoke to Creed? Oh, yeah. Can you take me oh, yeah. higher? That's Fuck my yeah. favorite thing to do at the bar. Is <laughs> when, they have a co- when they have a color uh, cover band and just scream out Creed. All night. <laughs> just Creed requests. Just Creed, 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 Creed. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, last question. The rejected superhero vehicle, the blank mobile. The cunt mobile. Why not? It's what a I super, call, super cunt. That's what I call your truck. <laughs> you call that thing a truck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. Oh, no, oh, it's Super Karen. Super Karen drives, uh, and that's, that's the cunt mobile. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. she's got terrible power. She does. She's a cunt. How about you, Fred? Uh, mine's an acronym, so I went the Dongmobile. Okay. And apparently there is the Dorchester Naked Guys. Oh, nice. I didn't click that link, yeah. so I don't know what they do. <laughs> but, I mean, obviously they participate in gangbangs or something. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the they, come, they frequent Derek's house quite often. How about you, Derek? Uh, the Wiener Mobile. Okay. That's the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Yeah, that's a real thing. That would be fucking hilarious <laughs> to see some guy getting shot at <laughs> while chasing, or a guy chasing a car, the car's shooting at him and at he's the Wiener Mobile. He's in the Wiener Mobile. Do, do you think the Wiener Mobile has a potato gun inside there? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, it does. Oh god! Uh, I remember as a kid when the Oscar Mayer people would like come visit, like your like a park or something. Oh yeah, and all the kids and run bring to the wiener, wiener and they give them wiener whistles. Wiener, here, put a wiener in your mouth. Yeah, like what are you fucking yeah. doing? A wiener. That's whistle. why we're yeah. all okay. That's what the dude off of uh, Santa Claus really wanted as a Christmas gift it was a fucking was wiener, a wiener whistle. whistle. Oh, he said mm-hmm. Fraggle Stick car. Oh wait, Did no, that was that was that? bad Santa. Yeah. Huh? Did you see that news? What? Uh, the Santa Clauses. Uh huh. A new streaming show Uh-oh. coming to Disney this winter. Is Tim Allen in it? Yes. Okay, never mind. We're good. Just don't take that away from me. That's no, Santa. No, he is in it. He's retiring. Oh. He's interviewing future Santa. Ooh. Watch the trailer. Peyton Manning's in it. It should be. Oh, fuck yeah. It's epic. This oh. is epic. They should pick Ernest. <laughs> yeah, he died. He's yeah. dead. He's, Ernest died. He Ernest. ate too many crayons. Uh, God yeah. damn it. He ran out of crayons. <laughs> That's what he did. He choked on a crayon. What do you want for Christmas, Vern? <laughs> <laughs> he one. saved Christmas. For yeah, crying out loud, sure. it should be Ernest. That's true. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is our questions and preguntas for today. Again, if you would like to uh, send us some requests for questions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. And now we get to get to a favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, Jeremy won last week. Uh, he ended up uh, getting the, the dream car. Turn your phone off. Uh, he won the dream car draft. Disrespectful. Why are right, you yeah. disrespecting us? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he, he won the uh, draft for the dream car. I came in second. Fred came up uh, in the rear. And since he's here back-to-back weeks, he is going to get the first pick. Uh, Derek uh, will get the sandwich picks, and I will get the uh, championship picks by default. And this week's draft is going to be the dumbest roadside attractions in the United States. Fuck yeah. Bingo. I fucking love this one. Uh, but uh, So, yeah, we're not going to hold back at all. We're going to go ahead and kick this bad boy off with Fred. You get the very first pick. The very first. Well... I can't decide which one to pick, but I've been to several of these that are on my list here. Oh, yeah? And I oh, I think I'm going to come out strong with Boot Hill. Okay. That's, okay. That one's in our neck if of the woods. If you aren't from Kansas, look up Boot Hill, Dodge City. So stupid. It's the dumbest fucking thing. Fake okay. cowboy shootouts, fake sarsaparillas. Oh, yeah. And okay. a horrible wax museum. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Uh, Derek... I'm going to go local here in Kansas, too, with okay. the uh, world's largest ball of twine. <laughs> Damn it. I, yeah. I was hoping that would come <laughs> back that off my list, because I knew. Have you been to that one? I have been to that All one. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I have been to that one as well. I have not. 
<laughs> you have it? No, we oh. don't have time. I'm a, when we're on the road, I get there and go. What? Yeah. Oh, come on. You got to stop done, by and I sit. Did, uh, me and a buddy, we'll say 10 years ago, did a road trip from southwest Kansas to Kansas City and hit seven of them in Kansas on the way up. Oh, my gosh. It took us <laughs> hours. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, well, my first pick uh, is in Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it is the Hood Milk Bottle Museum. Yes. Or is it a museum? No. It's just it's a just hood. A milk it's bottle. just a milk bottle. Fuck, it's not a museum at all. It's uh, not even a full bottle. It's it's not. It's not even the largest milk-shaped uh, building in the world. <laughs> it, it says Hood Milk right on the front of it, and I think it's pretty fucking cool. Um, but then uh, I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, as my next pick, I'm going to take Car Hinge. Okay. I, I like. Okay. I I think that would be the dumbest fucking thing in the world. It's basically a what? It's like a junkyard that's in in order of some kind. So I'm gonna take that, uh, and that is in um, Alliance, Nebraska. All right, Derek, you're next. This is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, this is in Georgia. Hold on, hold on. Look left. <laughs> it's dumber than that. Uh, this, this is the second dumbest okay. thing I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> I like how I looked at while well, I was looking at what you were saying. <laughs> you fooled me. I got you. Demon. <laughs> uh, this is this is terrible. Uh, it's in Georgia. It is Jimmy Carter's smiling peanut. <laughs> what? Look at the fucking thing. Oh my god. <laughs> peanut? It is that a is, smile. It is a peanut bee with a full fucking <laughs> thing of teeth. He's okay. just cheesing. I, that is my new he is background. Thirteen uh, feet tall. Oh Jesus. Nope, I'm out. I wouldn't want to go see that shit. Uh, you get two, so next pick. Derek? I just picked. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, oh, I'm oh, oh, sorry. My bad. I wrote Ooh. it down the wrong fucking thing. Four. Yeah, I Fox. don't want that Sorry, shit. sorry. So, that no, Fred, Fred, you get two. Sorry. <laughs> jealous of my peanut. Uh, I am not jealous of your 13-centimeter peanut. <laughs> 13 feet. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with, because I don't know what it has to do with the city, the Chicago Bean. Oh, really? That's not a side attraction. It's off the side of a road. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Got one more. Yeah, you got oh, one God, more. My bad. My yeah, bad. yeah. Well, then I'm following that up with the world's largest hand dug well. Yeah, damn it. That you is can a... walk all the way to the fucking bottom. Yep, it looks exactly like the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, good old Greensburg, Kansas. Uh, so, Derek, you get another one, bud. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, I know. We're running through these and kind of missing some, but that's all right. go with... We're mm-hmm. going to go with, in Iowa, the world's largest frying pan. <laughs> okay. In Brandon, <laughs> Iowa. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. That makes a big yes. difference. I know right where that is. Uh, well... I'm, I, I get two back-to-back. Back. Uh, I'm going to go to Alexandria, Indiana for this pick, and it is going to be the world's biggest ball of paint. Yeah, I thought about that one, but yeah. I have a ball of twine. I don't think, you don't want you a whole bunch of balls. You don't need balls. two balls. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't want that. I got two. I don't need four. Right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Fuck. This cannot be in Kansas. There is no fucking... It, it's, it, you better not pick it. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, I am picking it. this one. I did not even know about this in Lucas, Kansas. Yep. The world's largest collection of the world's smallest versions of the world's largest things. What the <laughs> fuck? That is an exciting place. <laughs> Where did you find that? <laughs> On a list. <laughs> I need that list. Uh, oh, fuck my God. Goodness. Oh, I'm just going to put collection for that one because that's just too fucking long. All right, Derek, you get uh, you get one. Noah's Ark in Kentucky. I want to go. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Isn't there fun. just one north in Mays? Huh? You haven't seen that? Uh-uh. Uh, no. Uh, no. It's Mays Road in uh, 96. It's really? A church. This is supposed to be an actual like life a, size like replica. Life size replica. Oh, it's ma- it's a church that they have. Wow. The complete outside is a Noah's Ark. That's and it's massive. Dope. I'm sure it is. It's got to be. Fit all those fucking animals on there. Uh, all right. So Noah's Ark. Okay, Fred, you get your last two. My last two. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I have not seen this one, but the world's largest easel. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> like, I had to pull over for that? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. And I, I'm torn here. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm taking my time just so nope, you guys have good. time to look at your list. No, I know. I'm trying to find something I like. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go here in Kansas again with Big Brutus. Big oh, Brutus. Okay. It All is right. a gigantic digging machine. Yeah. That they were just too lazy to move after it was done doing its job. <laughs> That's so how now that. they're just like, hey, come look at it. Nice. Yeah, I got to love it. Uh, Derek, you get your last pick, bud. I'm trying to figure out how to spell it. <laughs> okay. I saw it on one. Perineum. <laughs> <laughs> also known as a taint. It is. Yeah, the taint museum. <laughs> taint very big. Oh, Jesus. Um, it is. Fuck it. There it is. God damn it. It's a ventriloquist thing. Oh, no. Fuck that. Yeah. Those dolls creep me the fuck out. It is not the ventriloquist museum. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's fucking weird. Oh. I, I'm gonna, oh, I gotta I'm go ahead and go. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you what it Scotty, is. Google it. Pick it. I'm fucking. Google yeah, no shit. It. Uh, no, this one fucking cracks me up. I've got to take it. There is uh, in Box Butte, Wright Lake election precinct in Nebraska. It is called the Nebraska Rest Area, and it is no shit like a bunch of bales of hay elevated off the ground with a back on there as well with a toilet, free Wi-Fi, and a chair. I'm going to go with that. (laughs) Oh, my God. They got the world's largest fork. (laughs) (laughs) To go with your frying pan. God damn it. You should have got it. You should (laughs) have. I'm trying to find a motherfucking use, thing. Use your fucking voice to text it. <laughs> yeah. There's also there's a whole bunch of good ones in here that are just what in the hell? Yeah, are you some thinking? honorable mentions. Yeah, the so, blue whale in Oklahoma. Yeah, uh, ben and Jerry's graveyard. I saw that one. Yeah, uh, the world's largest check egg. Yeah, I've been to that one. The fantastic umbrella factory in Rhode Island. You never know. Yeah, dude. Uh, let's see, South Dakota. Uh, Wall Drug Store. It's like one of the oldest drug stores. 1931. 1913 or 1931? This stupid thing is on Pinterest, but it doesn't tell you what it is. <laughs> Just Google the son of a I bitch. I did. <laughs> Hole in the Rock. Doesn't exist. The yeah. Thing. Yeah, the that thing. was one. The uh, It was an honorable mention on my list, but the geographical center of the United States. Yes. In, that That's in here like in Kansas. Kansas. Kinsley, uh, Kansas, isn't it? Uh, it starts with an L. I was going to say, and it's not Kinsley. Kinsley is the exact halfway point between uh, San Francisco and New York yes. City. Yeah. And we were going to do a comedy show in Kinsley. And my buddy really wanted to go to this. And we were going to be late to the fucking show. And I was like, dude, we we got to get to the fucking venue. We, we got to go. And he's like, well, I just want to keep driving just a few more minutes. I'm like, dude, we got to fucking go. So we get to like this hill and he fucking turns around and go, we go to the venue and we do the show. And we get done with the show. And he's like, yeah, I heard the exact halfway point between uh, – uh, San, or San Francisco and New York City is is in, is here, and they're like, yeah. If you go down this way, there's a big hill, and right on the other side of that hill, that's it. Right on the other side of that hill, that's where it's at. And he's like, God <laughs> damn it, you <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Vent Haven Museum. There you go. That is the ventriloquist museum. It's fucking creepy. Yeah, fuck that. I I don't I don't like that one fucking bit. That's um, a good movie. The beer can house in Houston, Texas. I'd go to that. I think that'd be actually kind of cool. Yeah, there's uh, there's probably some pretty cool ones. Like I, I almost, I almost wanted to say the dinosaurs that everybody talks about in uh, in California, yeah. Amazon, California. Yeah, but there, that's like the stereotypical one. Mm-hmm. And so it just, it just, yeah, uh, not fun. That is in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Vent Haven. There you Museum. go. All right, guys. Uh, Well, that is our draft for this week. Do us a favor and go to our Facebook page at Laughing on the Sidelines. It's facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, And vote for your favorite list or the list that has the dumbest fucking roadside attractions that you could possibly think of. And uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji of that list, and whoever wins gets a pat on the butt next week. Uh, But now it is time for my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation. (laughs) 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. What? You're you're up, cowboy. Oh, shit. This week. Start that over. Uh, okay. Start over. And Legos. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to do my best Jeremy impersonation, so here we go. Okay. Uh, that's right, Scotty. <laughs> On the most disastrous maritime accidents, one of the most disastrous maritime accidents in history was felt on land. On December 6, 1917, an ammunition-loaded French cargo ship, the SS Mont Blanc, collided with the Norwegian steamship, the SS Emo. IMO. I like to think it was just a depressed ship. <laughs> the result was an enormous explosion that killed close to 2,000 people and injured at least 9,000 more. Because the collision happened in the Halifax Harbor close to land, nearly 500 acres of the city of Halifax were destroyed. And you can create that exact scene with a little bit of imagination and Legos. Legos suck it, Titanic. <laughs> There's, there's nothing more emo than killing a whole town, right? <laughs> oh, no, killing yourself. <laughs> you said emo and depressed ship, and I f- <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm watching the monitor, and both yeah. me and Fred are fucking losing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Shit. The Norwegian steamship, uh, the SS Emo. I am oh, I like to think it's Emo. I'm changing my boat's name. No the shit. Fucking SS Emo. Yeah, oh, you got to spell fuck. it with an E, though. <laughs> Just that ship hates its dad. Couldn't uh, afford the N. Oh, my God. Just Hawthorne Heights just blaring through the fucking yeah. loudspeakers. I don't know them. I'm not uh, familiar with their work, but I'm <laughs> guessing it's very emotional. Uh, very emotional. Very yes. emotional. Very yes. emotional. Black eye, <laughs> eye makeup and everything. Perfect. Whew. All right. So uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is you are going on a long coast-to-coast road trip. Right through Kinsley Camp. That's right. You. you. Would you <laughs> would you rather have to drive the Wienermobile the whole way there mm-hmm. or would you rather drive a normal dependable car and have to stop at every single roadside attraction on the way? Whew, that's a that's long a, trip. That's Man. a big bite. Oh, uh, you know what I want to know <laughs> is if that Wiener Mobile plays emo music. <laughs> that could be my SS emo. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they just painted a black hot dog. Oh fuck! Yeah, like does it run on diesel? Does it uh, run on cooking oil? Pr- probably like, cooking oil. Yeah, it should. I, yeah, yeah, it should. It it really should. I, I'm taking that fucking Wienermobile. Are you fucking serious? Oh, you guys make fun of me as wanting attention. Oh, my God. That would do it. Your trip's going to take even longer because you got to stop and take pictures with all the kids. Don't give a shit. Not if you pull them. your wiener out. Not if you, put, not if you put a sign on the Wienermobile that says registered sex offender. Then you, you get out of all of that. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. If I was a kid, I'd still run. <laughs> right to that wiener. I'm telling you, dude. That thing has got to be like a fucking sail in the you wind, You think it's too. been the only Wienermobile? Or they have no, like there's two. multiple. There's, there's a multiple. whole bunch yeah, of them. They, they, they have a fleet of wieners. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they have a wiener fleet. Yeah, a fleet of wieners. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I want, I, you know, through the company, I bet they name them so they know which one they're taking. They oh, just have sure. wiener number one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just want to see a parody of Batman now. <laughs> Alfred, get the wiener get mobile. The- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to they need a transformer wiener mobile. Fuck yeah. What would it transform into? A, a wiener. A, wiener. <laughs> a walking a, wiener. A, a bigger, blacker <laughs> wiener. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It just transforms and runs the sausage race at Milwaukee Stadium at the Brewers Stadium. Oh Jesus Miller Christ. Miller Park. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm going with the wiener mobile. Oh shit, uh, Fred. I mean, as much as I would enjoy stopping at a lot of these roadside attractions, I would have way more fun in the Wiener Mobile. Fuck yeah, way more fun. Except for parking. Parking would be a bitch. But 
Fuck everybody else. <laughs> it's, I'm the wiener mobile. That, <laughs> I am King Wiener. Uh, yeah, shit. they'll move out of the way so you can park. King Dong from Hong Kong <laughs> told me I could park wherever I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's two for two. How about you, Derek? I'm going to go with the roadside attractions. Are you really? I'm going to get some great stories. <laughs> I am going to get some fantastic fucking stories. Oh, yeah. I've been to a couple. Uh, one that was kind of weird, but kind of interesting, was the Dalton Gang Museum. Oh, yeah. That's in Mead, Kansas. Yep. I know right where that's that, at. They had a museum that had nothing to do with shit. <laughs> like, here's a two-headed lamb. Like, great. <laughs> and then here's where they ran out the back underground into the barn and escaped the law. I'm like... That's Ooh, cool. Yeah, I would rather see that than the two-headed, two-lit, two-headed lamb. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Um, Plus, you got to think of it too. If you go and visit the biggest ball of twine, that's not going to take you very long. No, no. You walk around that bitch, and you're uh, you're done. Well, and if I'm, odds are, I'm probably with my wife. And as much as she has to stop and fucking piss, <laughs> I'd rather do it at a stupid attraction than a gas station. Yep. So I'm sure. I think that's the way to go. I think. I think. I, Wait, can I drive the Wienermobile to do all the tourist attractions? I, I think we all want to drive the Wienermobile for real. I, I think we would fucking dig it. If it was your daily driver, Fred. Now, now if you're going cross country in the Wienermobile with Lance Bass. Ooh. <laughs> And you're coloring, coloring in the coloring books in the back. He's eating them, whatever. <laughs> what if it catches fire? I bet it's delicious. Oh yeah, Ooh, it's like a roasted wiener. Absolutely, yeah. that's a big yeah. wiener. There's a lot of well, wiener to go around. I'm, I'm googling names if they have names. I haven't yet, but I found two interesting facts. Well, okay, one's a, uh, the wiener mobile drivers. Yeah, they're called hot doggers. Fuck yeah, I'm a total <laughs> hot dogger. A hot dog. You I am change a... your fantasy football name to the hot dogger. <laughs> the, yep. The hot dogger raw doggers. Meet the hot dog. That's fucking awesome. And I want to be a hot dog. There are only six Wienermobiles. The fleet of wieners is you know, only six? You want to know how much that pisses me off? That there's only six? There's how porn many, stars that take more wiener than that in one many, day. How many wieners come in your pack of hot dogs? Eight. Oh, eight. eight. Ten. Ten. And, is ten. it ten? Is it ten? You get ten. eight buns. You get eight buns, but yeah. they make six mobiles. That's stupid. Yeah, you got to get two more out on the road there, there, Oscar Meyer. I'd be that fucking childish guy that every time I would go up to a tunnel, I just in, out, <laughs> in, out, forward, reverse, forward, forward. reverse. <laughs> Can you imagine that fucking thing driving through the mountains? I just think it'd be hilarious. Oh, God. <laughs> you got to love it. Getting up to speed. And I want to. I want to get one and go off roading in it. <laughs> That's what I want to do. See how far off you just go. Get, yeah. Just go to Moab in Utah and just try yeah. to climb shit with it. I just it. want to see some fucking wiener mobile tearing ass around a racetrack. <laughs> that would be. It. Then I'd go to NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. If you, I don't even care if it's the pace car as long what as it stays the? on the track the whole There's time. There's a yeah. mini wiener mobile. Oh, that's, that's what it's I a, have. It's on a real mini Cooper. Oh, okay. So mini. So uh, it's a mini wiener. Yep. Yeah, some of the drivers have their own names, like Habanero Haley oh, or God. Ketchup Kyle. Oh, for nice. your toppings. Okay. Oh. I found. I found facts. Look at this. We're it just filled with facts on, on today's episode. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I think we all secretly want to drive the Wienermobile, but Derek's the only one that wants to stop. I, I just don't want to stop and have to, like... I would stop just for... So, the number one interesting movie. fact on this list is it's not a wiener bango. Oh. So, there's no banging allowed in it, apparently. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Sorry, guys. Su that sucks. That's what, it's, that's what a Wienermobile is supposed to be. That's what but, I thought. Yeah, I think it's a it. Ford Flex. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's what I think. It's about the same length. I know. <laughs> It could be, man. It really could be. Uh, well, anyways, guys, thank you very much <clears throat> for tuning in to another podcast episode. We sincerely do appreciate it. There are still tickets available, and it is coming up faster than you think. October 22nd at Vorshay's Lounge here in Wichita, Kansas. We will have Laughing on the Sidelines live. How many tickets we got left? I want to say like 15, 20. Oh, wow. How yeah. I many does this place seat? About oh, 25. Yeah, 20. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, it seats it, limited. There's standing room for like 150. Uh, and the seats. 150 a ticket, folks. No. That's, tickets are 10 bucks. I'm uh, buying the rest of the tickets got, and I'm going to sell them on StubHub. And you know what? I got a lot of folks asking, like say, saying that they would love to go, but they're not. They're not uh, 21. It, it is 18 to enter. They serve food there, so you are allowed to come in. 
And that's Just what like a chick. Yeah. 18 to enter. 18 to enter. That's All exactly right. right. So as long as you're 18 or older, you can get into the venue. You can have a good time. Uh, and if you're younger than that, sorry, uh, that's that's the rules. Um, but yeah, uh, there are tickets still available. They're 10 bucks. We're not taking any of the proceeds. We are giving that to the venue so people can come in and don't have to, you know, drink a lot of beer and stuff like that. But we definitely do encourage you to do so. That's very, very important to us. We want you to take care of the waiting staff and that's what we're doing. Um, but do check uh, out our Facebook page. All of the links in our bios have uh, have the link to uh, get your tickets uh, on TikTok, on Instagram, on uh, Facebook. It's the very first thing that's pinned at the top of our uh, at the top of our uh, Facebook page too. So uh, if you want to go, they're still there. They're just running out. So do get them quickly, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, at this show, guys. I don't know if you know that. Uh, you guys are. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to kind of be there. No, you're going to be there. You're going to have a <laughs> damn good time. I've got some ideas knocking around in my head. There is also still the post for um, if, you have, if you're going to be at the show and you have uh, an idea for something to draft. We haven't looked at all of them yet. I, we kind of wanted to do that last, the very last thing that we do. Uh, if you are going to the show and uh, you put a comment in that, uh, that spot on Facebook for what we should draft at the live show. If we choose what you picked, uh, you get to come up on stage and draft with us. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but, guys, we really do appreciate all you're doing. Uh, we've got new listeners. TikTok keeps growing, which is awesome. They haven't uh, they haven't kicked us off that app yet. Uh, I see it very close in the near future, but... <clears throat> but everything that you guys are doing to help us out, we sincerely do appreciate it. We like to always say, if you li- oh, sorry, before I do that, thank you again, Fred, for stepping hey, up and stepping in. No problem. Thank you again to Derek Alders because this is one, he actually was not going to be here, but because of everything going on with uh, Mr. Jeremy Joseph, uh, he he stepped up and helped out. I really do appreciate that, man. Yeah. Uh, but guys, we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you get fentanyl on your bullshit thin crust pizza. <laughs> if you don't like us, <laughs> tell your enemies. And until next time, no one out pizzas the hut. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asshole. We will see you later. Take care. 